objective for the kicks. <laughs> so this is a custom battle, guys. Just for the kicks. Um, let's see what I can do with this. Right, so I have some archers. In all honesty, I think they don't uh, get killed by the sharpened stakes. And I have my cavalry here, but I'll just deploy the stakes nevertheless. This is important for me to get against the other guys. So Cinder Gods, these are heavy infantry. They will guard my flanks there. There you go. And the Fallus Lord. There you go. Where are you going to go? I need these guys to survive. <laughs> so, Swordsmen, Nobles, and the, the Swords of Region. Okay, so let's get the Mithlan Nobles with two Smiths. Actually, no. Like this. There we go. Special ability, none. These guys don't have any special abilities. No one has. These guys have some. Alright, the lances, I'm going to have to use them right here. The infantry forces, right here. Just to show you the infantry forces. So these are my archers. These are my Mithlan nobles. These are the Rinded Swordsmen. These are the Smiths of the region. That's the ballistas right there. I have a science project to do, right? You want better science than this? Okay. These are Phallus Lords. Man, they look crazy good. Cinder Gods. And the cavalry here. Alright. Let's start the battle. Let's hope it doesn't crash. Where are they deployed? They're over here. And where's the catapults? Oh, I'm so glad they actually are here. Right. So... I'm not the defender. I actually set up the these ones here. But I know that there's going to be some problems. Because the great beasts are nearby, right? Oh, there they are. They're pretty far away. That's actually a lousy deployment from the AI. It's kind of bad. Well, he still has a lot of catapults there. And there's some great beasts there. Right, so I'm pretty sure that these won't matter. So I'm going to send these guys over there. Make sure that you can start hitting those. It's due Tuesday and I haven't started yet. Well, you have a very good reason for that. You've been watching Third Age. Awesome Third Age. Okay, I really have to move in closer. There's no way. No, there's no way I can do this battle without uh, having that. So... Now those great beasts are a problem. For sure. There we go. But the troll catapults, they are going to cause some damage and some problems. Yep. Now, I know that these guys can probably make this the Great Beast Stampede, but that won't cause too much. Okay, so th there's the catapults. And they have already hidden. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to face those catapults with my cavalry. I think I'm gonna have to take that away over there. Thursday, not Tuesday. Okay. So my archers are now attacking. Of course, they're hitting some temple guards. Well, in all honesty, they're missing. As long as they're missing, that's good. I'm gonna have to send these guys in. I mean, these are missiles, and then there's the catapults. Some temple knights and the kettle there. Ballistas. Could hit the Oleg High, but honestly, I want to hit the Great Beasts. There we go, these guys are dying there. There we go, let's attack there. There we go, he's attacking some temple gods there. Worst AI ever. Well, not really, he's doing a good good outcome there. I'm gonna hit them with some fire there. Right, I know that this is kinda 
dangerous. We still gotta do something about these Alakai. What do I have here? Let me send my general in. Although it's problematic. Let's go. Cavalry. Yeah, I gotta send them in. There's some Sauron as well, but I gotta send them to the catapults. Hopefully these guys can kill off the Olakai. I mean, they have already started doing that. Actually, let's hit the Sauron as well there. I'm starting to hit some Temple Knights, which is good. And I like the charge there. Great Beasts, I don't know if you can kill them or not. Let's just discover that. So, these ballistas, let's hit the troll catapults there. Might as well. I know that the, well, the, these great beasts do a lot of damage to some other units. Hopefully they die. Where's the, cat the cavalry units? There we go, let's move away. Why using fire shot on catapults? Um, actually, they do a lot. Well, the Great Beasts are losing severely. Because when they hit, they actually do a lot. Like you can see there. And they have some additional, you know, decision making there. Okay, let's attack the Troll Catapult there. Let's attack these Temple Guards. Mithlan Nobles, you can attack some units here. Oh, I'm getting the... Getting the, in the idea that the Great Beasts actually can't do anything against these guys, which is amazing. Yeah, like... The Olagai are nearly dead, which is awesome. So let's see how the Smiths handle the Sorn's Will, which I kind of brought in and advise you, because they would kill lots of them. Right. So Lancers, they're managing against the trolls. I just wanted there. I just want the trolls to stop attacking. Actually, they are ready. Okay, so I am going to use my cavalry units to attack the temple guards. So I'll just move in over here. Yeah, these great beasts, they're suffering a little bit. Let me take that away. There's some troll catapults here and there, but I mean... One of the units has died. These Olaghai have not. There we go. Let's check the cavalry. Go for the temple guards there. Man. There we go. Okay, the great beasts are dead. Well, let's attack there. Kill the general, that's always nice. And I mean, I'm actually still quite surviving a lot. Alright, Temple Guards are dead. There's some Temple Knights attacking. To be fair, this is a very powerful army. And I didn't brought enough cavalry there, so you know. Still. Actually, let's fire against those catapults. There we go. There we go. So, never use these guys against the Olak High. In all honesty, you're just the gonna lose there. Um, these guys, you can charge the Temple Gods here. I think these guys could actually hit the Sounds Will and kill them. Archers, you're gonna hit what? The Temple Guards there. There we go. Sarnsville actually doesn't do great at all. These Cinder Guards are good against the Great Beasts, but they are terrible against Tholakai. They did nothing there. I thought they are fighting to the death there. Swordsmen, they're not good against the Temple Knights. I mean, they can do some decent damage there. Lancers, let's see if I can... You know, I'm hitting the Temple Guard from the back. I 
There we go. Actually, let's get back here. Let's charge those. There we go. So, Elder Ring is Swordsman. Let's go for this. These guys, let's attack the Uruk Hai there. Smith is a very agent. Let's go there. There we go. They have already managed to kill a couple of those guys there. Alright, let's hit those temple guards. Yeah, so far it seems like we're doing just nicely. These guys are gonna attack the Yolokai. Go for it. I mean, how OP are these smiths of a region? Do you see their numbers? Every single other unit is kind of affected, but these guys have fought everything. They fought the beasts and they're still over the 80. I mean, look at that. By the way, ballistas against these guys, you see what are they doing? They don't miss, guys. They're really cool. I've used them quite effectively in the past. So I'm going to hit these temple guards now. So just an interesting versus AI battle with the um, with um, Light Nico choosing everything. Ballistas are OP, man. They're still the best unit in the game. Trust me. They're still uh, up to their what they can do. They can actually kill anything. You know, they're still the most overpowered unit there is. Trust me. By their cost, by their effectiveness, they just hit so well that you know. Everything just is easier with those, with a couple of ballistas, you get to, to do this. I mean, I'm sorry, but the smiths, they're also very OP. Cast them back into the earth. I, won, I know one army that could beat the elves. Which one, actually? Another elven army? <laughs> that's, that's not, no, that's, that's not, uh, that's not, um, you know, that's not fair, by the way. <laughs> now, you can get, you know, severely infantry-based armies, but for that, with the elves, I would just get, like, two ballistas, three ballistas, perhaps, and um, I will get a lot of smiths every region against uh, those guys. I mean... These three guys, I'm gonna send them over there. Dwarves, yeah, I was thinking that. So in terms of dwarves, it depends on the kind of infantry that they bring. If you bring just heavy infantry, um, I would honestly go for mostly. Um, okay, managed to defeat these guys. So now let's fight there. You see that the ballistas are doing just a great job here against the straw catapults. Um, as I was saying, I would just bring lots of smiths of the region because they are the anti-armor unit that I have. And uh, I would go straight up with ballistas, hitting their general. That's that's the tactic that I could use there. No. I just want to see these Mithlan nobles going over here. They actually one shot each of one of them. That's amazing. Right. Still have my cavalry, and of course they don't have cavalry. Dwarves don't have a lot of good cavalry, so cavalry charges. As soon as you pincer them down, they have to kill everything really fast. And if they can't, well, you just manage to kill them easily. Okay, ballistas, you still have the missiles and stuff, but it's fine. Nice, Nico. That was a good outcome. Oh, look at those guys! You see, shots from the catapults just do so much. There you go. Okay, cavalry, you're gonna hit here. Gonna hit here. And it's done. I mean, I lost 50% of my men. Considering the odds here at, at stake, I like it. I guess the great beasts don't do too much against infantry. They are very w useful against cavalry. Uh, but he, then again, he didn't use them as flanking or anything like that. 
which I w would probably, you know. Cavalry forces are still good against the trolls. They just have decent damage against cavalry as well, so you know. But I mean, look at these smiths. And even these guys, they're just fighting so well. They're kind of like that Naginata, which is just amazing to see. Now the weapon that they have is not really a spear, it has like a blade at the end, as you can see there. So yeah, like Nico, thank you, this was a very interesting battle actually. Thank you for the suggestion. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I kind of have to do the these kind of things to get things interesting as well. So okay, troll catapults, that's all that I have left. And there's no way they can destroy all my army. I lost like one unit, it was the Cinder Gods who don't use them against trolls. Or better better said the opposite way. Uh, go with those against trolls, you know. Right, so is everything destroyed here? There's a troll there. He's getting hit by the archers and he's going to get destroyed. Clear victory. Cool. Cool victory here. Cool victory here. So 811 against 1530. They killed 111. Let me see the kills here. So the archers didn't kill too much, as you can see. And they healed up really nicely, but you know. The Fallen Lords killed one guy. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. The ballistas killed 43. Do note that these are trolls. So they killed 43 and they also destroyed some catapults to prevent damage, of course. The smiths are the real killers, as you can see here. You know, and then there's the Sindar gods there. These mythical nobles, my god, and the lances. Of course, the lances actually did a lot of damage, amazingly so. You know, the Sindar gods didn't do too much. But the lances, you know, the cavalry units, they actually do did really well. Hope you enjoyed that one, um, uh, Light Nico man. I, I certainly enjoyed this one, really nicely. All right, now I will have to go. So thank you for that suggestion, uh, Light Nico. It was a pleasure, and I'm gonna send this out to YouTube as well. So you know, just a, a custom battle here at the dwarves. So it's fine. So how is it, you, Susa? What are you doing? You still need reviews? I'll talk to you in a minute. Bye, bye, guys. For you guys on on YouTube. Thank you for watching this one. Cheers.